Now what we've got to understand is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strictly forbade lying at all times. But He specifically reproached and reprimanded the individual who lies in order to make people laugh. And if you look at the society today, in our gatherings, you see this all the time. Where people sit down and just throw out jokes, but they're lying. And they say, it's only a joke, relax. So you have a, let us have a laugh. Not knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warned against this. As the hadith says, Woe be on him who speaks and lies to make people laugh. Woe be on him. The gravity of this is extremely severe. Understand this, and I repeat, it is absolutely haram, a major sin, to lie, to speak and lie, even when you're joking. Did you understand that? You are not allowed to joke while it's a false joke. It is haram to do this. You are allowed to joke. Because Muhammad Sallallahu used to have a humor. He would play. He would joke around with his companions, with the little children. But as he said in an authentic narration, I only speak that which is true. So the condition of joking around, it must be in truth. You are not allowed to sit down amongst the people and say, let us have a few laughs and you start creating something or making something up, all this nonsense. You say, it's only a joke. In SubhanAllah, people take appreciation in this and they encourage this deceitful lies. Saying it's only amusement and innocent sort of entertainment. And they have even made specific days for this ugly practice. Who can tell me one of them? A pinch and a punch on the first day of the month, correct? You've heard of that one? Astaghfirullah, have you heard of it? And April Fool? April Fool's Day. April. Fool, the one that you ate? No, no. April Fool. Ma'al Basal, mashallah. April Fool's Day where there are lies and mocking and jokes and this and that all in the name of jokes and laughter and amusement but it is haram this is not acceptable islamically ya ikhwati la isa wa ya akhwat so understand that you are not allowed to speak a lie in order to make people laugh do you understand that brothers and sisters do you understand that you know do you understand the, the gravity of lying? You know, the hadith says, woe to him. That's a severe sort of warning. It's like woe, in other words, hell to you, a'udhu billah. The damnation to you. So you've got to be very careful. Don't just say, ah, relax, it's only a joke. Don't say things like that. Don't say, because there's many people that cannot take jokes. These lies, how many people have incurred it's like harm and pain and traumas, wallahi, even death. People are not the same. Like Muhammad may accept a joke, well, Ramad will say, I can't stand this, I'm going to start a fight. This is the, the, this is the quality that we have. People are different. Not everyone is the same. People can accept things while others cannot. Fights occur. Problems occur. Destruction occurs from this ton. So don't say it's only a joke. It's a joke to you, but not to him. It's a joke to you, but not to him or her. So don't take this lightly.